Hey guys, BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks. Thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow, guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. Radio. Sixty DB down. One thousand watt slug in the PEP position, one thousand watt element in the bird watt position, five watt slug in reverse. Hello. Hundred and fifty watts of drive from radio. Hello. Exposition. Thirteen hundred watts of power. D row radio bench two pill. 1000 watt scale in the PEP position. 1000 watt scale also demonstrated in a bird watt position. Hello. 200 watts. Hello. 2x position. Hello. Sixteen hundred plus, and over a thousand bird. This started out as a test bed platform, not this amplifier, but this amplifier here, this little guy. This is the first one I built in this series, but this is a test unit, okay? 
because I was teaching myself how to use my new input transformer. So, believe it or not, quite a few things have changed. A lot of things have stayed the same. I had, uh, don't know who he is. Gentleman call me, said to me one time, this is, we're talking two and a half years ago now. He goes, you open for some criticism? I said, man, always. Because you never know what you're gonna learn, right? In the previous phone call I'd had to this guy, the, the dude was being incredibly hostile to me. So this guy's like, sure. I'm like, yeah, whatever, man, go ahead, yeah. He says, listen to me, you don't know me from Adam. I gotta go into a board meeting here in a minute. <clears throat> I'll call you if I have time later. But uh, have you ever noticed how you get thin little tiny squiggly lines on your oscilloscope? And he described a couple little things to me that I've been seeing in the spectrum analyzer. He goes, that's from core saturation. I said, yeah, okay. I said, how can that be? And he goes, oh, all right, so you're not willing to listen. He goes, I'll call you back if I get time, maybe. And he hung the phone up. He'd also explained to me that he, quote, had been here and done everything I had done already, but he did it 20 years ago, and that I have much more to learn. Well, I don't know who this guy is, and I'd like to say thanks, because he sent me on a journey. Not too long after that, I went out and I built my own output transformers. And uh, it's taken me another year and a half, almost two years, get to where I have my own input transformers now. Because I was looking, I immediately put down the phone, I thought about it for about five minutes, and I came out here in the shop, and I started looking at stuff. And I started seeing the characteristics of core saturation. And so I thought I'd try and chase that holy grail. Now, this particular unit here, I built this so I could play with a new style of combiner that um, me and a fellow builder have been working on now for a year or so. I tested it, it worked great. I put it back to the traditional style. But this whole series, I'm gonna build probably 12 boxes in this next year that are based off of this particular style with all of my parts, shorter to the board, to heat sink, and a cabinet. Um, that's it. I'm gonna call them the Master Builder Series. Just stretching out the technology a little bit further. And here's the shocker, is I'm probably gonna put them up for sale. There are no pre-orders on this you guys, because I can't even guarantee that I'm going to be able to pump out one of these a month. Not necessarily a four pill, maybe one month it's going to be a one by two. And maybe the next month, hell, it might be a 12 pill. You don't know. But I'm going to try and drop one of these new into the market every month, and I'm going to put them up for open bid. Highest bidder gets them. Total of 12. And then I got another whole line of tech that I can't wait to unleash for next year. Getting the parts in line to do that. Working with all the right people to get that laid out as well. This is Amplifier 001. I'm not too sure if I want to sell it yet or not, but I'm pretty sure if a guy offered me enough money, I'd probably let it go. I'm not saying it's for sale, but I just wanted to show you that things are still trying to be innovated and we're still trying to move forward. The guys on Facebook last week got a sneak peek of this as I was using it in its product demo phase, or its test phase, I guess. I'm over that. I think 16, almost 1700 watts of power out of a four pill is more than adequate, in my opinion. So, we're just refining the diamond just a little bit sharper each time we try. Just a little bit better. And because we've changed so many different things in here that are subtle, all the capacitance values short of here, these two parts are all different. <laughs> but man, it sure works. That's all I'm gonna say. 
Gentlemen, you guys have a beautiful week. I have got to sit down and start working on a couple of the little small housekeeping projects, and then I've got to go start on that 3000, which would be an interesting video in itself. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll see you soon.